Episode 3. After the death of his old friend, Anthony, David decided to travel back to the school where they both attended on the outskirts of Albany. In his search, David meets his old teacher, Father Ernest. He also remembers an experiment that they all attempted years back. Terrible consequences. And the truth was revealed. Father Ernest worshipped the eye of the bird, a vision resulting from an experiment. He killed many people trying to replicate its results. If there was any doubt in your mind that Father Ernest was not a good guy, that is your confirmation. Those who saw the eye back then, he calls forth the four. He calls the four witnesses. When discovered, Ernest immolates himself. Finally, Ernest's servant knocks the wit out and buried him alive. All is darkness. All is cold. All is silence. No, it's not. A game by game kitchen. If you have not played this game, please play this game. Please give these people support. They made something extremely fantastic by themselves. Like, it's not like this is a big studio game. This is a bunch of people that just did a passion of love, a game of love. And it got supported by the community. And it deserves, it deserves your pennies. Like, I recommend, I recommend Stories Untold because it's an amazing game. But Devolver is not, not like an unknown company. Game Kitchen is pretty unknown other than this, because I think this is the first thing they ever did. Give the game some love. Tweet at the guys on Twitter. They they appreciate it, trust me. They, they are always happy when somebody's giving their game some love, even after all these years. Jeremiah, we must talk. With your mother de deceased, arrangements have been made regarding your upbringing. The man in my position and responsibility can't take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, he will depart for Scotland, sending you to study at St. Gall's boarding school in Harvardine. Eat and butter the right, as I will have. I won't have time to read letters. Damn, his dad's cold. You know, if you ever question why somebody would do the things that Jeremiah did, that's a good reason. He really didn't have anything to turn to. Don't know letters for you, Dvit. Please do not persist any further. That's a lie. His sister sent him a letter. Pleased to meet you, my new classmates. And who is that? Him? Oh, that's just a fit. Pay him no mind, he's a lot. Interesting. What'd you say? Hello, I'm Anthony Beechworth. My first time my first time here. I've only just arrived. I hope we can be friends.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to send it something. Okay. What? What is happening? The four witnesses. Number four. I wonder how this got in my phone. A ticket to see a play called The Four Witnesses. I'm just gonna, gonna say something. There were clearly four students that were involved in this, this situation. I think Father Ernest was a little bit full of himself thinking he was one of the four. You, as in the person you're playing, David is definitely one of the four. Anthony was clearly one of the four as it was his dumbass idea that got him in this. Oh yeah, let's look at this. My head is pounding. I feel so weak and thirsty. If I don't drink water soon, I will faint. Dear Lord, where am I? Eyes closed, ears muffled, a voice hushed in the land that loves sound. Okay. Um, but I can check that out, can I? I'm pretty sure this is a pool of my blood, and judging by that amount of blood, I should probably be dead. Shiver runs down my spine when I look like it could have been my eternal deathbed. I'm pretty sure it was actually supposed to be your eternal death. Also, you were buried. Where the hell are you now? I'm in a city. Is it Aberdeen? How could I have escaped? How oh, indeed? Cheapest potatoes in town! Young man, could you please tell me where I am? Fine, then, you little shit. Please, sir, could you give me some water? This ain't no charity, Tolf. Only still paying customers, so puff up or get out. There's a cart blocking the alleyway. I won't be able to pass here until it's... Normally, I would argue at this point, but he is pretty weak. Large cart. An indigent and ragged clothing, uh, indigent and ragged clothing, leaning against the brick wall. The young man sleeps under a filthy blanket. Stained threadbare sheets struggle to dry. And all right, so nothing I can grab from that. Young woman suffers difficulty. It's fresh! Please, I need water. Get out of here, drunk! Get out of here! There's a man staring at me from the crowd. Something in his countenance seems strange to me. Please, ma'am, you tell me where I am. You don't know where you're at. Why, oh, this is Old Nickel Street, Rookery. A darker, more decrepit place you'll never, there never was. But that's London. How could I have arrived in this slum? It's not the best thing in the world, but when you're thirsty, you'll drink anything. Yeah, I bet it did. It had soot in it. And down he goes. <laughs> Man, you were out for a while. 
must have fainted. It's dangerous to be an old nickel at the night. I should make my way out of here as quickly as possible. At least you can move faster. Back, I say, back. And four. As we go. That's the way I came from. Rice packed up their shit and left. Go. Let us go forth. Yeah, Dr. Wakefield is here to see you. Uh, mine here. Show him in, Hertz. This is about your patient, is it not? There's no trace of him. He hasn't shown up for his last few sessions. I've been to his house, of course. His landlady shows me on a trip weeks ago and hasn't come back home. He kept the destination to himself. Then it is perhaps as I feared. I'm sorry, my dear friend. But I thought of this when you described your sessions with Herr de Vint. I could I did not want to upset you without need, and I hope for the best. Now I am afraid my suspicions have could, uh, could be true. There are some things that I will have to verify uh verify first though. I promise that I will contact you as soon as I've learned anything important. Please, Herr Doctor. It's the most important thing no one else knows on this matter. I have my total discretion. Episode 3 of The Four Witnesses. I'm sorry, I'm having fun doing these voices. I'm not good at it, but it's fine. This is why I roleplay too. I feel like I've been walking these streets for hours. Surely I must be close to finding my way out of here. Labyrinth. David Bowie, I know you're here! <coughs> Do you hear them? It's the crows searching for the moments of the weak and dying. They're calling to each other. They must have found something. Did you help me? These streets, they're so confusing to navigate. I'm afraid I've lost my way. Could you direct me out? Yes, lost one. I can give you directions. I have been gifted with second sight. You peer deep into your past and unwind the tapestry of your fate. Would you like me to close my eyes and tell you uh, so the doors may be open? I have an opinion to pay you. Money is of no matter here. Come close to me now. The scream it begs you to escape. Mute, it screeches your lost name, sharp, painful, and burning. Its voice is one you know. The puppet threads hang from an immense hand of dust coverage on a single point. Your mind, where your memories, ob oblivions, and shadows cluster as one. It is your friend and your foe, your home and your prison. The dying star, you've lost your guide. My voice is changing as I keep reading these, yes? Well, I'm just gonna read them. Uh, you follow the stream, but do not know where it goes. I think you've escaped, but actually you're getting closer and closer. I don't understand. What does it all mean? I can't unpick these. In. The threads you've woven will destiny too tight, child. But you will, oh yes, you will. It is not for me to say. So you discover. You know, I could have done a Miss Cleo voice for this. Remember that in the fog, we see only the, the closest that is, uh, what is closest to us. The birds remain in the distance. You wish to leave here. You must follow the path of the bird. No more direction can I give. Call me now for your free. Pardon me. I must go. 
You need a map to guide your footsteps. Farewell. Useless wench. You! You, sir, you are my guide. Where are you leading me? Somewhere I can't go. Very dark. I don't dare go alone. I can't go that way. But I know how to get there now. Go in this hole. Rats. I can't go here yet either. I need to go here. I can't yet. What is here? It's just rubbish. Rotten scraps of food and discarded paper. Okay, let's go this way. And see if we can find something else in here. Yeah. There's a way that I can go. Okay, this place is definitely confusing. It's not as bad as he makes it out to be, but it is definitely confusing. Boarded up window of a rundown house. Dust smears the glass, preventing me from. In we go. Ooh, Jesus. That's some rancid meat lie discarded on. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't good at all. Metal plate flint in the wall. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was a, a bottle, uh, a bolt hole. Probably is. Did it. A bottle of gin is empty and maybe of some use. Gene is old and in disrepair. It seems sort of late fil uh, filtering machine that, despite its condition, it seems to have been used just recently. Over here, glass and support top to bottom. The oh, I know it's that water that made me pass out. That's what I need to do. Out we go. A bit easier. To You know, it's funny that somebody like me, who is constantly and forever lost, kind of knows where she's going in this. Oh no, that's not where I need to go. There is a trick to that that I don't know yet. Riddle. There is a riddle. Go up. Uh. There's something I need to do. I'm not quite sure what it is. I need water for this. Uh, is this door open? Let's... Can't go that way. Can't see in there. 
The trick is trying to figure out where I need to go. That's a problem. Where's the oil lamp sitting? Doesn't belong to nobody. No, it doesn't belong to anybody. You're welcome to take it if you like. I'm not sure what good it'll do you without any oil, though. Good, I got a lamp. Now, I just gotta remember where the hell to go to get the liquid I need to get the oil. Uh, I could try down here. X. Oh, there we go. I still found my oily water, I just didn't find it where I thought I was going to find it. I collected some oily water in my gin water, uh, gin bottle. But, you know, some people might say it ain't much difference. Letters seem to have been described with an oily grime that reads rats. Not sure if this is a warning or an explanation. Ah, rats. Okay, so if we go back to Hillary. Yeah, it is amazing. As easily as I get lost. Think about this. As easily as I get lost. This makes sense to me. What is wrong with my brain? Okay, and we place this in the thingy. Contents is nicer. Okay, the oil floats to the surface, and when I open the valve, it will drain the water until the all the water has been. There we go. I've extracted all the water. Oh, it'll be enough to last the night. Ah, uh, I light it. I guess it lights on its own. Okay, so we're done with that part. Okay, so we'll test this, and if not, we'll have to figure out how to light this thing. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to light it. So I think I go back to the embers. Now it's been easy to go this way. God, what is wrong with me that this makes sense? Seriously, this makes sense. I don't I don't know what's wrong with me. Yep. Now it's lit. Off we go to the darkness. Uh I could go down in the bay I could go back down there, but I think I'm supposed to try to follow this guy further. Yep. An old worn out Coat hangs on a rack. One of its uh, and one of its uh, pockets is a pair of gloves. Let's take the gloves because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need them. Gloves. Picture has collapsed from the. Okay, about that. I mean, really, you could hold up in this house all night. It's a bit decrepit, but yeah. No bottle of Saint Emilian's. Grand crew covered in dust. Go in the backyard. Old cover uh, covers the wood stacked outside the shed. Uh, so about that now. Okay. Judging by the resin surface, the tree trunk it have been recently chopped down. Present them. Door's locked, I can't even. Alright, so now we begin our grandiose uh, journey into figuring out what's going on here. Sorry, I had a little bit of an attack there. 
All right. A bright metal, the picture is faded to a dull color. <laughs> that shit ain't creepy at all. Now my eyes focus on the gloom. I can see that there's a person sitting on the bed. Rest. As a young girl for some reason. He appears to not hear or see me. I need to get closer from me. Oh, first let's look around the room. Reflection stares back at me through the crime. No wardrobe. Open that old wardrobe. Wardrobe is locked, okay. Spherical piece or not? That. No, I don't want to dance or sing anymore. It's enough for today. I want my lemonade. I want to play. Actually, madam, I'm afraid I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. Ah, uh, you don't recognize me? No, I, I don't. I'm afraid I do not. Very sorry. No. No, not at all. It's fine. It's been a while since I've last performed, I suppose. But don't you forget it. I am the greatest little, um, I am the great little caddy. Singer, dancer, golden girl of London's music halls. I want to get out of this place. Hide and seek. Oh, I do love games. I go to the fog when I want to get away. Daddy won't find me there. You see, in the fog, there's no faces. Looking for a gentleman, well dressed, with red hair. Know him? He led me to this place. No, father. I've been practicing the latest repertoire as you ordered. I behave very well today, haven't I? Let's play. Now stand next to the fireplace and count to three. Fine. One, two, three. Wait, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? Huh? One, two, three. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Uh. Uh. One, two, three. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Uh, this is not where I was originally. This thing. One, two, three. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? One more song. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I didn't see nothing, lady. I didn't see nothing. What the blazes just happened? My head is pounding. Where did she go? Did you? It's that. It's the water you drank, man. That's all that is. It's that water you drank. A pile of things on the floor. After Caddy disappeared, disappearance. There's a mat. Oh, I know how to fix the mat. Porcelain mat. It's a very interesting looking porcelain mat. It's, it broke when it fell. Distorted features. The grot uh, grotesqueness too. I don't like to look at. Uh, don't like to look at it. And un look underneath the mask, a photograph. Oh, little caddy shell. There's a girl lit up by a spotlight in the music hall. Sing live piano. March 8, 1843. I'm exhausted. Father makes me rehearse today. Made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music wavered with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the day, <clears throat> long time for the day of the show, but he insists that everything must be perfect. One more song, said, over and over. March 20, 18. Father got really mad at me when I started to, uh, when he started to shout. Then, after many hours of rehearsal, I said I wanted to go out and play a little bit in the street. More and more, he is obsessed with rehearsing concerts and perfections. April 3rd, 18. Am I not the one who earns the money to feed us? Am I not the one who uh, people come from all over to see and admire? Is my name not the one printed on the posters? My name! 
the dolls for sale at the theater entrance. They have my likeness, my dress, my beautiful hair. I am the one who makes the decisions. April 21st, 1843. One more song. Yes, one more. A last song for you, Papa. I think Caddy killed her daddy. Caddy killed her daddy. <coughs> okay, just making sure I didn't use that there. Wardrobe is locked. Okay. I never did make it all the way down here. Okay, that's flippin' creepy. Gage must have housed a huge bird, only a feather remained. The piano is so dusty, I dare say it hasn't been played in years. wonder if it still works. Oh, one way to find out. Something is preventing one of the keys from depressing. Uh, there's a key hidden under Okay, well, we got a key. Looks like lyrics, <clears throat> title song. <clears throat> Looks like the lyrics to a song entitled The Last Song for You. The verses are strong poorly and has to make them illegible. I get the feeling Caddy wrote that. <laughs> yeah, I can do that creepy laugh too, lady. Uh, sir. Sir. Okay. Yep. Nope. Elegant scarlet party dress. Take that. Anything else in the wardrobe? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think I know what I'm supposed to do, but we're gonna go ahead and go back outside. <laughs> Down the stairs we go, and out the door you know. can't do that yet okay I need something to use that with but I have a doorknob and that's got to go somewhere in here most likely <laughs> doorknob is missing Funny, I have a doorknob. <laughs> Wooden planks are blocking the window. I can only see out a part of the outdoors. A big wall mirror covered in dust. I can't recognize my face. Are you wondering why I'm avoiding the bathtub? Because I know what's behind it. The laughter is coming from behind the curtain. I can faintly see the outline of a figure on the other side. I open the curtains. That's fucked up, ain't it? A porcelain doll made of lifelike proportions. The face has been removed, leaving her features featureless, with, uh, but its wig shines brightly as though of human hair. Got a wig. Yeah, we just have to turn that off, because that is a wee bit unnerving. Just a wee bit. A painting of a beautiful young lady. A peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. No, no, no! Did I not pray enough? Have I not written, uh, written faithfully every last note that you screwed into me? Middle C up to an A measure. G up to a C tied. F second violin bar two middle C up to A double note E G C. No, this is supposed to be our masterpiece. Viola C up an octave and then to G. What? 
What? Who do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can't you see I'm in the middle of creating an angel's voice? The work. A to A, a C to A, an octave higher. A fragile voice flutters around uh, the trophy. No, 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 no. Hands swallow you up. Laugh at you. I lost it again. Uh, are you right, sir? <coughs> My inspiration, too, is lost. Quite lost. In the fog, the notes moan. Just her. Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne. The best soloist and composer that, that could have, uh, a composer could have had. The voice of an angel. What made my music possible. She would not stand here, but she would stand here by the window. The wind caressing her cheeks. It danced through her golden hair. Her dress glowed like embers in the dust sun. What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in a storm. Sickness, it just swept her away. Her voice, my god, her voice. It came from heaven. It was the angel of my music. Mausoleum outside the house, is that where Daphne is? Buried? That's right. I have visited her many nights. I have even slept beside her on the cold, wet stone floor. Uh, yeah, about that, buddy. Um, I'm following a man. Uh, I'm following a man. Though, come to think of it, maybe he's following me? Uh, he has a red beard and a cape. I sometimes find this man, too, amongst my notes. I feel him close to me at all times. I need to get out of this place. You ask me for words, but words are betrayers. They are dirty. Music, just music, remains beautiful and is prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I cannot help you now, not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She is my only inspiration. Let's go then. Let's go. Let music and singing surround you. My man. Right, so. Paper bound up in a scroll, it seems to be Scarred Up Musical Score. Take that. Wallpaper is torn. Taylor's mannequin, but why is it beside the mint? Well, that's easy enough to deal with. First things first, I gotta fix this face. And that tree resin outside is how I do that. Question is, what was I missing? Score. Eh, I can read about the score. Put up score music. There's uh, so many deletions and corrections and possible. To... Oh. I don't think I actually have to read it. I think I need to use that. To fix this. Oh, I know what the paper's for. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, I wish I had thought of this before when I was upstairs, but yeah, we're just gonna have to walk back up. Okay, up we go. Lift, 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 ride, hustle. Gotta get to, there we go. That's where we gotta get to. This on that. That's how you get the feather out. Feather's how you get the resin. Resin's how you fix the mask. Mask is how you get that dude to tell you what you need to know. In a normal world, this makes no sense, but this is a point and click adventure, and it makes perfect sense. Even more so, this is a Lovecraftian point and click adventure. It makes perfect sense. 
You did something incredibly stupid. And now you're trying to remember what that incredibly stupid thing is. And it's not like it's going to cost you anything. And she took the feather with the resin. Resin on the mask. Alright. I've stuck the pieces together. The resin, the face, reminds me of the girl from the paintings. Alright, now we have a complete mask. We go back upstairs. To this slow-ass house. You know, I have to admit that this is... I don't know if I'd say completely more enjoyable, but it's definitely intriguing to play this game in such a manner that, uh... Whew, excuse me for the yawn, uh, that I am having to, uh, talk to people. Having to talk to people while I'm doing this. Yes, just right. It looks more, more like a young woman than Right, one more thing. There we go. Daphne, you're back! Are you a figment of my melancholic mind? Are you a ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you're with me again. And I know, now I know. I know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please, take my violin. Now that I have completed my work, I no longer have a use needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place it where her heart lies. Angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the keys to the mausoleum, my friend. Get out of this place. Fog. We haven't seen eyes, but count on our ears. Find the way. You must search for sim Simmer. What is a Simmer? Probably saying that wrong, but I don't really care. Uh, also, <clears throat> let me clear the throat up. I swear I'm female. I just have a deep voice. It's what the crows are searching for. It's what you search for, too. Okay, well, I must... Got you. I, I don't know what it is, but we will find it. Because we have to. Wait, how were you playing violin music? I have the violin. Did you have more? Well, I guess you would if you're a musician that does this for a living. But I'm just gonna say, like, I got a trumpet. Trumpets are expensive. I don't have more than one. But I guess if I did it for a living, maybe I would. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we locked. Unlock the door. Enter the door. Here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who did not hear her. Pity for those not blessed to live her native, her naive grace. Not shaken by her heavenly voice, trembling in their souls. Divine descendants, here lies Daphne. God rest her soul. Sarcophagus is broken. Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? The trail of soil leads from the sarcophagus to the hole. Was the coffin transported through here? Locked, I can't there. What was that? What indeed? What indeed was that? turn this down a little bit more as that was really loud to me I, I hope it didn't drown my voice out too badly it's gonna be fun listening back to this because I don't know how my voice sounds right now I think it's good enough you never know it's above the levels at least on uh, on OBS so that's a start maybe I can see someone if I look through the keyhole how much you look through the keyhole <clears throat> darkness Nothing more. Wrote the Raven. Nevermore. Ah! <laughs> the 
With the help of River, Renee and Daphne hid this from the sun in the shadowy mist. She changed her skin from strong bark to her heart could forever be conceived. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice again, that's fine. Books with unpronounced names and uh, dead languages. Myths and legends in time this time. Norse tales, Greek, ancient, Sumerian, others I do not recognize. Scripts I've never seen. Uh we're gonna go back outside actually. Try that door. I'm pretty sure it's locked, but we're gonna try it anyway. Oh, I know where this door goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's just a connecting door. Okay, so there's no reason for me to do that. <clears throat> oh, hello. Ellipses. I beg your pardon, sir, if I startled you. What are you doing sitting here in the dark? Why, I'm reading marvelous books. In the dark. But how can you see the words without any light? That's the only way to see them, really. That is, I want to see the words on the other side of the page. The words from the shadows. Shadows always hide from the light, you know? It's like they can only be read in darkness. Are you the owner of the shop? Oh, goodness, no. The bookshop does not belong to anyone, not since I found it here. Uh, I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Man, well, I mean, this is a man with a weird appearance, too. You're gonna have to start getting more specific. Have you seen a man pass this way? Uh, he's uh, red haired, tall, wears a cape. Oh, yes, I know whom you speak. I see him here from time to time. Who's perusing books? He would pick one off the shelf, glance at it, then put it back. He and I had never spoke, though. Why do you ask? Uh. He seems. I see him sometimes, but he slips away whenever I try to meet him. I feel as if he's guiding me towards something. That may be so. We each have our own white rabbit that exists through lost places. Can you tell me which Let me think. Ah, uh, yes. I recall him looking at the unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome. Very revealing. Very rare. This shop is very fortunate to have a copy of this collection. I'm not sure where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Simurg. Do you know the importance of the meaning of Simurg? Simurg, yes, Simurg. Ah, yes! The Bird King. There is a book of ancient poetry that makes mention of him. I'm sure you can find it here somewhere. Uh, pardon the interruption, sir. I will leave you to your reading. That wasn't bizarre at all, was it? Huh? 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 I hear a woman's voice in the distance. It sounds like this. A book lies on the floor. Find reads unexplored places in and of the empire. The book is a uh, page. Let's read it. The place of the eternal fog, also known as Zyla, is a unique bay east of Be'ar, Be'eswa, near the jungles of Bengali. It is surrounded by tall, snow-capped mountains. Opening water of the bay, uh, the waters of the bay are very dangerous and barely visited. What oh, I had to say? Right, well, that doesn't tell me how to get past it. That tells me where it's taking. Hello. What is this here? What is this here indeed? A 
massive dead tree. It is formed in light uh by this building without sunlight. Oh, you know what's just feasted on the court. Hands of a coffin. It looks like it burst from the inside. On the ground lies a book entitled The Songs of Zai uh, La. The page was open to be torn out, but the many fragment identifies a song title in search of the something caught in the brink. Okay, so. Here you are. Can't do that here. There's a note partly obscured by mud. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing. Rats. Too many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. Stalk me. Coming closer and closer. I can see their blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. A pile of ragged clothes caked in mud full of holes. Then mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Dead roots of a once great tree fill the cavern. Do a strange green moss covers the surface. There. There's a great crack along it. Oh. That's not unnatural at all. The violin has disappeared amongst the roots as it swallowed up. The tree seems to be standing. Noise came from above. Well, if it came from above, then we go above. Come on, bub. Up the stairs we go, where we do not know. Here we go. Trees grown. Some of the branches have crashed through the wall to the window into the street. Okay. The ground. All right. The page torn out. The page is. The page is outside. We must go. Come, Pedro. At least there is some light in here. Well, there was light. Oh, you're still reading in the darkness, sir. Uh, you you have a good one. I suppose. Birdo. Okay, so we go back here. And we find where the graphic is broken. Uh, the, uh... Tree limbs have to be somewhere nearby. Not what I need. But the thing that I need is on one of the tree limbs, so I'm just gonna have to keep looking around until I find it. Stop, I, I know the star office is broken. I know it. I know, okay. No. I know game. I'm well aware that it's broken. Uh oh. Go up here? Ahaha! Ha, ha! Victory! <laughs> The paper sheet has been captured in the branches is now within my reach. It's not like you couldn't have climbed the branches to get it to begin with, but that was a whole lot cooler. I'm not even going to play. On the page is a strange point. Burst into the wind. They sought, uh, they sought for the king. But lost were the birds. They wept and uh, weep in suffering. And flew into the sea, compelled by a knee. Found their silence. Quest was complete. Hey! Hi! Hey, wait, 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 wait! Hey! Hey, buddy! How did he go? This. Oh, he's taking me to the vlog. Okay. I, I can't talk during this part. I have to actually actively listen for where I need to go. I 
actually gonna have to turn the sound back up for my I'm, I got lost in the fog. I'm meant to wake my way through. I need to work. Well, I think I'm supposed to listen for quiet. Not sure. Let's parchment. First two. Okay, so I have to go to the wind. To the wind. That's the ocean. Not sure what the hell that is. That's the wind. Archman. Okay, so to the sea this time. That's their cry. Is that right? Yep, that was right. So now we get to the sea. Where is it? Where do we want to go? That is the sound of the sea. That is where we want to go. See, now we have to find silence. No, I didn't mean. God damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, clicking is is a difficult thing in this game. Okay, so this might take me a few tries just because I missed. Click. To the wind. It also randomizes, I think. So, to. Cross. The ocean. Right way. That's wind. Where's the ocean? And ocean, we need to get to the sun. Now slow, and our ears open.
talents. Now, where is the That's not right. Yeah, that wasn't right. It wouldn't let me click the silence. What the hell? Okay, let's try again. That's not creepy. Surprise. Ocean. Now I need silence. This is really making me have to pee. Let's click it. There it is. We have victory. Okay, so balance. Did the I did the puzzle. What have we gotten ourselves into, there, Jeremiah? Your ticket, please. Yes, you did it. Your ticket, please. Thank you. Please come inside. That's what she said, buddy. Who is the one missing the head? That's the grand question. I mean, there's another one we don't know who he is, too. But I'm thinking that this guy's one of them. Clearly, somebody's been forgotten, and there's a reason. Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. You were there. You were part of the group. You don't remember my name, do you? I'm Alexandra. What is all this about? What do you want from me? You? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here in search of answers. It's the same as when you joined our group, when we ca each came with our own reason. Do you remember yours? True philosophy. Indeed, it was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us out there, dear Jeremiah. No one who know will carry us, who care for us when our, home our hour comes. We had been alone. How did I end up in London? I trained at the boarding school. The bird protects us. It is by his design that we should meet again. But we are not the only ones who take shelter beneath its wings. 
His influence and power is ever expanding, ever reaching. Do you not feel him beckoning? You know, I have no idea if that's a woman or not, but eh, it's a man right now. At least so I find out different. I only want to wake from this nightmare. This is no nightmare. It is a show. Performance. The truth we seek lies beyond the curtain. Now we have crossed the point of no return. The lights are on. The stage is set. And soon you shall meet the actor. Welcome. <laughs> ah, sorry. This belongs to you. I don't want it. But I'm gonna take it. The last door. Ooh, this game, this, this story is so good! It's just so good! Dear Herr Dr. Wakefield, if you are reading this, then you have followed my instructions and arrived in the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. My own investigations have demanded certain and, uh, Unanticipated degree of attention. I can't quite get his accent back, can I? No, I can't. Uh, anyway. I have determined that your patient, the Vic, is in serious trouble. He must contact you with more information post haste. In the meantime, discretion is of most importance. Your friend, John Kaufman. Johan Kaufman. Johan? Dear Johan. And so we have reached the end. Of episode three, and there lies episode four, beckoning me into its folds. And as you can see, this game started gaining more backers because it's so good. Like it is so good. I got in towards the end, so I can't take much claim for this. But yeah, they weren't quite done with season two. I think it just started into season two when I got on bo on board. I didn't have the money when they started. And, but I snapped up the collector's edition immediately after it came out on Steam. So, yeah. If you have not played this game, by all means, play it. Please. It's worth the time. It is worth the time. And I'm going to take about five minutes, give or take. Probably faster than that to, uh, to uh, take care of the facilities and all that. And then we'll get right into the last episode of this. And then I'll start in on the ones I have not played. I'm excited about this because I want the rest of the story. I don't know what happens. I think I played some first episode of season two, but it's been so long I really don't remember. I just remember that I kept telling myself I need to finish this up. And I never did. So, yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm excited. I'll be back. <laughs>